We all have a hero that we admire, someone who makes us want to be kind, someone who affects our lives in a very positive way. In my case, my hero is someone very special, someone who has taught me many, many things. My hero has always supported me, reminding me that nothing is impossible, that we can achieve anything we want, even a star. I have learned from my hero how important it is to study in order to reach our goals and dreams. I have learned from my hero how important it is to do my best in everything I do, that life is beautiful and that we should enjoy it to its fullest. I have learned from my hero to have more love for my fellow man, to better appreciate all I have, my family and my friends. I have learned from my hero to always wear a smile and look for the good side of things. Not everything is completely bad. My hero has taught me to set goals and that it is not impossible to achieve them and that I can fly as high as I want. There is no limit. My hero, my dear hero, is and always will be Mrs. Fowler. My friend, my angel, my hero. Over the past three decades, children throughout the Lehigh Valley have been touched by the generosity, the compassion, and the kindness of an individual who has dedicated her life to making the region a better place for everyone. Those who know her describe her as loving, caring, and an angel. Someone who's always looking to make a difference whenever and wherever she can. A dedicated community leader, philanthropist, and one of the region's leading supporters of arts and education, Marlene Linney Fowler has touched the lives of countless individuals over the years. She sees potential in every person, and she sees a lot of potential in our young people, regardless of their economic status. Every person has potential in Linney's mind. A graduate of Skidmore College in New York, Marlene Obercotter met the love of her life, Beale Fowler, while he was studying at Lehigh University. I think it was love at first sight. <laughs> and we got married two years later from that. A stained glass artist, Linny shared her love for the arts with others, establishing a stained glass studio with her close friend, Octavio Pena, and teaching art classes for children and adults. I really just love the idea where the children get exposed to art and have a good time learning all about what you can do with art. Her passion for the arts and for helping children led her to become involved with numerous organizations, especially those focused on providing opportunities for minorities and children at risk. It's interesting, Lenny was the visionary for Camp Fowler. She wanted a camp not only for the youth house kids, but for all the kids in the community. It's a wonderful place for kids. The kids can meet there and they have discussions and they tell what they're doing and kind of help each other guide each other with what they do to improve their life. In the mid-90s, Linny's desire to increase access to the arts led her to ArtsQuest in an abandoned warehouse on Bethlehem's south side. When Lenny became involved in the banana factory, she pretty much gave us the direction of making this more of a community education resource and a place where people, regardless of their station in life or their ability to pay, would be able to come and both appreciate art and take lessons in art. Linny and Beale Long had a vision for the city south side, hoping that one day the former Bethlehem steel plant would once again team with life. Her early support of the, of the project was very important to create credibility for the project. So without her involvement in steel stacks, frankly, it would have never happened. Today at Music Fest, the results of their commitment are obvious, with people from near and far coming together to enjoy great, free music while celebrating life with family and friends. When Northampton Community College was looking to establish a campus on Bethlehem's south side, the Fowler family stepped up in a huge way, playing a lead role in helping to make the campus a reality. Their support of education through the years has just been, been extraordinary. Today, more than 5,500 students annually attend the Fowler Southside Center. So many individuals have gotten an education because of Lenny and Beale Fowler, and it wouldn't have been possible without them.
Bethany has been recognized for her commitment and dedication to the community, with prestigious honors such as Lifetime Achievement Awards, the Allentown Arts Commission's Arts Ovation Award, and the state's highest arts honor, a Pennsylvania Governor's Award for the Arts. Never one to seek the spotlight, the Fowlers instead prefer to focus on new ways of improving access to arts and education, and new ways of developing partnerships that enhance the quality of life in the Valley. I think a lot of what we've done, mostly Lenny, is to enhance the quality of life for everyone. It's good to make a difference. It's like, I think it was Bobby Kennedy said, see a wrong and try to write it. There are people here who, with a little bit of support, can do wonderful things. Today, the Fowlers enjoy spending time with their four children and 13 grandchildren. But they also remain deeply committed to their larger family, the young people, and all of the residents of the community that they call home. The Lehigh Valley would not have all of the expressions of love and caring for people if it wasn't for the Fowler family. If there's a child at risk who needs a helping hand, a cause worth fighting for, or a program or initiative that will improve access to the arts, it's guaranteed that Linny and Beale will be there, sharing their time, their talents, and their kindness, working hard to make the Lehigh Valley a better place for all. She really uh, brings hope to everyone, thinking that there is always somebody that is going to be taking care of our children. Just think of the number of people in the Lehigh Valley and beyond who have, who have accomplished greater things and led a much better life because of her commitment, because of her uh, generosity, because of her concern and, uh, and love for her people. She has the most perfect heart of any, per any person that you'll ever meet. Thank you, Lenny. Thank you, Lenny. It would be nice to be remembered as someone who cared enough to set an example and show the people how we can make things better and more meaningful to everybody, not just the kids.